Japan just delivered fully performing female robots. Robotics in Japan is flourishing in recent times with multiple different robots for industries, businesses, and even household chores. Japan is one of the top countries across the globe to lead the robotics race with automation and RPA. Let's take a look at the latest happenings in the Japanese robot sphere. Japanese Goat Robot for Heavy Loads Japan's Kawasaki Heavy Industries, a multinational corporation known to produce industrial machines and heavy equipment, has developed its first quadruped robot that it believes can help with labor shortage in the country's aging society. Dubbed Bex, after the wild goat species Ibex, the robot featuring large recurved horns can walk on four legs over rough terrains or move faster on smoother surfaces using wheels tucked in its underbelly. Capable of carrying loads up to 100 kilograms, the battery-powered Bex can move autonomously or by remote control, the company announced. Famed globally as a motorcycle company, Kawasaki began producing humanoid robots in 2017 and decided to develop a four-legged prototype last year as a solution to a balancing problem its two-legged robots faced. More importantly, Bex was designed to perform tasks in agricultural settings, thereby answering a labor crunch problem in rural Japan. In an aging society, it can help elderly people who need to move around carrying heavy cargo. For example, it can support the farming or forestry industries. The company will continue testing Bex this year and hopes to commercialize the robot in 2023. Pero, the therapeutic seal. Have you seen Pero? Countless people were first introduced to Pero in the first season of Master of None. But is Pero a real thing? Is there a real robotic baby seal that's cute, cuddly, and interactive? There sure is! Pero is an adorable robotic baby harp seal that weighs about 6 pounds. Pero was developed in Japan by Takanori Shibata and is equipped with 32-bit processors, microphones, and several tactile sensors. To boot, Pero's fur is fluffy and antibacterial. Pero is a remarkable little gadget and able to recognize voices, track motions, and utter endearing little squeaks and whistles. It also remembers behaviors, has touch-sensitive whiskers, which help it interact with humans, and has a bunch of little motors that enable it to wiggle. In total, Pero has five types of sensors – light, tactile, auditory, temperature, and posture – that help it come to life. Pero was built as a pet alternative and mainly intended for older people who desire company. A real pet can scratch or bite, whereas all Pero places in its mouth is a pacifier it uses to recharge. Although Pero has been sold in its native Japan and countries like Denmark for years, it really started to make headlines after it was introduced stateside. The Japanese Ro-Bear If the thought of a giant robot bear picking you up doesn't sound too scary, consider spending your old age in Japan. State-backed research center Riken is developing a bear-like intelligent lifting machine that can help move elderly and bedridden patients into wheelchairs and beds. Equipped with giant padded arms, Robear is the latest in a line of prototype nurse robots designed to take on some of the back-breaking work of caregivers who must lift patients an average of 40 times per day in Japan, which has a rapidly graying population. In contrast to the earlier prototypes Reba and Reba 2, Robear is capable of gentler movements because it has capacitance-type tactile sensors that feed data to its actuators, which in turn can quickly sense any resistance to exerted force from patients' bodies. The tactile sensors are based on auto parts maker Sumitomo Riko's Smart Rubber, a flexible rubber sensor that can measure pressure and deformation. The robot also has six axis torque sensors, cameras, a microphone, and 27 degrees of freedom, more axes of motion. At 140 kilograms, the 1.5 meter tall Robear is 90 kilograms lighter than Reba 2, unveiled in 2011. Engineers gave it a smaller base with retractable legs that can be deployed for stability during lifting operations. The legs can be stowed to move the robot around. Robotic Kitchen by Celebrity Chef Startup firm Nami and global food tech platform C3 are piloting a program through which the Nami Robotic Kitchen produce bowl meals 24-7 from celebrity chef Masaharu Morimoto's Samoto restaurant brand menu. Able to hold 330 bowls and lids before needing to be refilled, Nami units can prepare multiple bowl meals simultaneously and store them in a safe, sanitary locker that can hold up to 21 meals, ready for the consumer to pick up via a unique QR code. With Nami, we are working to reimagine the restaurant experience by partnering AI with proven recipes and menus helmed by C3's world-renowned chefs, 
says C3 founder and CEO Sam Nazarian. By doing so, we are taking traditional concepts and making them new for an ever-changing restaurant industry. The Toyota Q At the Tokyo Olympics, fans watching the basketball game between USA and France were taken for a ride during the halftime of the game. A human-sized robot took over the spotlight by shooting the perfect free throws. The robot was Toyota's Q. Not just fans, the humanoid robot caught Tesla founder Elon Musk's attention as well. He tweeted, Computers are absurdly more accurate than humans. Back in 2018, Toyota Q was developed by nine Toyota volunteers from the Frontier Research Department of Toyota Central R&D Labs in Japan. Interestingly, the engineers who built Q did so in their spare time and had no previous experience in either robot development or AI technologies. The robot could only be made to stand with support. During its unveiling, it was able to sink 9 out of 10 shots at Toyota Engineering Society's public event. Impressed by the capabilities of the basketball-playing robot, Toyota executives granted the developer's team two years to progress the project full-time. With help from partner robots, the team developed the second-generation model Q2. The robot could now stand without any support. Its motor output was also upgraded, and the robot could shoot a ball from outside the three-point line. Fast forward to 2019, the Q team unveiled the third generation of the basketball robot, Toyota Q3. It was made more powerful than its previous versions and could now adjust the distance and trajectory, enabling it to shoot from anywhere between the three-point line and the center line. Additionally, it could also receive the ball with its left hand. It uses a set of sensors on its torso to measure the distance between itself and the basket and accordingly adjust the shots. Its uniqueness lies in its ability to grasp and shoot a basketball by itself and to run. Omron's ping pong robot doesn't hold back. Omron is best known for its healthcare products like thermometers and blood pressure monitors, now in the form of a smartwatch even. But for the past five years, the company's ambitious exhibit, the Forfius Table Tennis Robot, has been the topic of heated debate. Little did we know that we would bump into this old friend at CES. The machine is now in its fifth generation and packed with some surprising upgrades. Let's just say our parents would be disappointed in us if they were there. Technically speaking, this latest Forfius is actually an entirely new robot. While previous models tended to reuse a lot of hardware, this new one was apparently built from the ground up just to play ping pong. This is partly to finally accommodate a full-size table, but more interestingly, the main body is actually more compact than before, all the while packing five cameras instead of just three. Specifically, two of those cameras are focused on tracking the ball, with another two on the human player, plus a high-speed camera on the racket. Additionally, the racket is dotted with green labels on both sides to aid the high-speed camera. That way, Forfius can easily identify the type of spin being applied to the ball. With his past vision upgrade paired with Omron's latest automation platform, Forfius is now much better at predicting the human player's behavior. Under the belly, there's a new multi-axis robotic arm that can better mimic a human elbow and wrist, which turned out to be a major advantage for Forfius. It's no longer afraid of spins. But not only that, the bot can even hit back with its own top spins and back spins. The faster servo controllers obviously help a lot, too. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.